Hello lovelies and welcome back to another Nine Lux Nails video. Today I am doing a full set for my client. This is a pride wedding freestyle and this is one of those clients that come in and say do whatever you want to do. So in this instance she is getting married to her lovely wife. They are married now so congratulations to you girl. Thank you so so much for always supporting my brand continuing to come back and let me service you and on one of your major days I just take that as a big accomplishment and honor and i enjoyed doing these nails for you she absolutely loved them and so did i so she did get married and then these are also her honeymoon nails so on one hand i did a nice white ombre with bling and on the other hand i did a rainbow ombre and bling as well with the same style of bling so i'm going in with my rainbow colors and straight on the nail tip i'm going to apply my colors straight up and down and then i'm going to go in in a zigzag motion and just get a little tie-dye work going on here this is one of my absolute favorite designs to do especially during pride month because you get to swirl into all of those colors and get a very nice and beautiful color payout so i'm going to do this across all four of the nails and then we will go in and apply our nude acrylic and also encapsulate the nails so that the polish is not disturbed so i'm going to go in and do this tie-dye design over all of the nails and i am going to flash cure in between each of the nails because this is a lot of polish that i put on the nail or different colors of polish and i did not want them to bleed into each other and begin to look like a marble i wanted them to still look like a tie-dye so i did do a flash cure in between each finger just so that that design can stay as true as i first did it so i'm going to follow the same steps you already know i have my color set out on my dish beside me and and also a wet alcohol wipe so I'm able to clean my brush off and go into the next color you do not want to cross contaminate your colors because it will start changing the look of the design so I want to keep it really clean and crisp get the same design across all fingers and then we'll proceed with the next couple of steps this is a pretty easy design to do but it is certain steps that you have to do in a certain method so that you can get the best results so i'm going to take my time and continue to do this design across the four fingers and then we'll come back and proceed with finishing the ombre So now that I have all of the tie-dye designs going on across the four fingers, I'm going in with my Mia Secret Cover Nude Blush Acrylic as well as my Mia Secret Primer, Dehydrator, and Monomer. And I'm going to just create a nice ombre. And I do want a longer ombre because I want you to see the design and color, but I don't want you to see it so much. And I knew that I will be putting bling across the nails in a ring manner because these are wedding nails so i do like to see that design when people 
put the bling and it looks like an actual ring on top of the nail so I'm going to do my ombre and make it a little bit longer because these are very long nails and then we will go in and encapsulate the remaining areas of polish so as you can see I'm making sure to remove any nude acrylic that got on the very tip of the nail because I want that to have its truest color payout so the areas where I have the nude or it's doing the fade that is fine but always on the tip I'm just mindful to make sure to remove any excess so that it does not change the color of the tip and remove any of the design so that you can't see it so I'm going to proceed to do this long ombre and then we will go in and encapsulate and begin putting bling on this set it's pretty super easy and quick and on the other hand again i mentioned at the beginning of the video i only did a solid white ombre so i went in off camera and did the white ombre i just wanted to show you guys how i got this portion of the design so stay tuned and when it's time for me to chime back in i'll let you girls know what's going on Now for the pinky, I did do this nail in a stiletto shaping and I'm also going to cover the entire nail with the Cover Nude Blush Acrylic because it will get just a full bling nail. I love adding that extra touch of spiciness. These are honeymoon nails, so I didn't want her to just go out basic. She is very bold and vibrant and I wanted to make sure I judge these nails up to the 10th power for her because yeah. Thank you. 
so now that I have worked with all of the cover nude normally when I do an ombre I do like to let the nude portion dry down just a little bit because you can go in too soon with your clear and brush it straight on and then you get a muddy mucky looking clear that is just not super clear so I like to let that ombre area get hard and then go in with my encapsulation and that way I know nothing has moved and everything will look exactly how I want it to look once I apply my top coat so I'm going in and just encapsulating the design that I have put on the nails and I'm making sure to also if needed build the apex I use the nude for the ombre as well as the thickness but in some areas I may need a little clear to add a little more support because these are very long nails so I'm just going to encapsulate the design but make sure I am building an apexual structure as well to the nails Now that I have gotten all of the nails encapsulated, they have been finished, filed, and buffed, I'm going in and applying my bling to all of the nails. And they will get the same bling except for the stiletto. It will get a full bling nail. So I just have these very large and gorgeous stones they give the illusion of a ring setting and then i'm going to go in with my smaller bling as well as some caviar pearls and just build a nice band around the nails so beside the larger charm i'm going to go in with a medium sized crystal ab and then on the outer side i'm going to go in with two very small to just add a little depth and then also 
adding the caviar pearls closest to the larger stone just to make it look like a faux ring i love this effect and i will be trying this on a set of my own in the future because i just love how this set turned out and she did as well so we love it and i will be putting it on other clients and make sure it on shorter nails because i do have some smaller charms like the center charm because i'm a charm girl if i see it i have to get it because you never know what your clients are going to want and i always want to have new things on standby for my girls so yes we're going to finish this design across all of the four nails with the ombre as well as the four ombre nails on the opposite hand and do the stiletto bling and we will be finished with this set it was so super cute and so fun to do and i actually did apply my glow in the dark top coat because if you're going on honeymoon you gotta go all the way out honey so i'm making sure my girl have fun with her nails and i want her honey to love her nails as well so yes Now after curing that bling, I'm going in with a very large charm and it is a heart shape and then I'm going in with some of my larger charms as well and I'm going to scoot them right up to that large charm because it's going to accent it and bring the focus to the center of the nail and then I'm just going to fill in around those charms with my smaller charms and it will just make your focus go to that heart shape and then spread out and it's flawless I love it there's nothing else I can say. I really over love a full bling nail, especially if it's done in the correct manner.
And after top coating the nails, here is the finished set. She is getting married today and on honeymoon tomorrow. And it is during Pride Month, so we over love it. If you want to show this nail some love and support, then you already know to follow my socials.